This month is Heart Month, a time when we should all take a moment to think about our heart health. With one out of two people dying from cardiovascular disease, there is a good chance that your actions could mean the difference between life and death for yourself or maybe even someone else in an emergency situation. We spoke with Dr. Jeremy Pollack, a cardiologist at University of Maryland St. Joseph Medical Center, who told us how exactly you should take care of yourself or someone who's experiencing a heart attack and what you can do for yourself to avoid one. There is a good chance, since one in two people are going to die from cardiovascular disease, that we will be in a place where someone's having a heart attack. And if that happens, cardiologist Jeremy Pollack wants you to know what to do. There's two different types of heart attacks. There's a heart attack that doesn't kill you, but you're still having muscle damage. And there's a heart attack that is so big, that is so life-threatening, that it causes the heart to stop. And that's when you're out in the public, you're on a plane, you're at a pool, you're at a tennis match, and somebody drops down and passes out and doesn't wake up. Of course, the first step in that situation is to call 911, but after that? The second thing I want you to think about is where is the AED? The AED, or Automatic External Defibrillator, is that little red box that you see up on the wall in public places that you likely just pass by, hoping you never have to use it, in part because you really don't know how or are too afraid to use it. Dr. Pollock says that fear is unfounded and one you need to get over quickly. What you have to recognize is this machine will not deliver electricity unless it's indicated. There is no way that you as a layperson can push a button and shock a patient unless it's supposed to happen. And in a life-threatening cardiac emergency, every second counts. You have six minutes from the onset of cardiac arrest until this patient has almost 0% chance of surviving with a good outcome. Every minute someone dies from heart attack or heart disease. Why is that? What are the risk factors? And why is it so prevalent? Doctors say it boils down to seven major contributors. How many of us are a healthy weight, diet, eat a good diet all the time, and exercise 30 minutes five days a week? Very little, right? And then on top of that, when you don't do those three things, when you're inactive, you have a poor diet, you don't exercise enough, then you develop the other three risk factors for heart disease. You get diabetes, you get high blood pressure, and you get high cholesterol. And those six things together create accelerated development of plaque in the arteries of the heart, which is heart disease. And then two out of ten Americans, unfortunately, have the seventh risk factor, which is smoking. The problem is that heart disease is silent. You don't know something is wrong until something is really, really wrong. That's why University of Maryland St. Joseph Medical Center offers an online heart aware assessment that identifies your own personal risk factors. It also offers a way to schedule an appointment with their team directly and dig deeper. You can always think about a screening test, which is called a coronary calcium score. That's a one picture CT scan takes about 30 seconds and gives a ton of information on whether or not you have plaque in the arteries of your heart. The good news is twofold. Heart disease is treatable and it is preventable. There is never a point of no return. If you're 75 years old, you've been smoking for 50 years, you stop smoking now, you've ar you're, you're already changing your chance of living for another 30 years. We know where the fountain of youth is. We have access to it. It's free. It's eating healthy it's exercising, and it's maintaining a healthy weight. And you should start doing that from day one. That heart health assessment questionnaire that you just saw can be found by going to umms.org slash SJMC and clicking on health services. And then from there, heart care. The heart aware assessment is right on the right. You can make appointments right there with ease. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.